Hello there and welcome to our module 1, training number 10. Here we are going to discuss how it interacts with other medications, lithium level, side effects, toxic uh, side effects, all things you should know about lithium. So let's get started with this training. This is our roadmap to success, understanding lithium and its implications or interactions. So, important to know what your levels of toxicity starts at. It starts at 1.5 or higher. Lithium has a low therapeutic index. As you can see, the normal values are 0 0.5 to 1.2 so it's a very low very low narrow window for us practitioners to make a mistake so it's very important that you understand the normal levels of 0 0.5 to 1.2 it's the standard treatment for manic episodes at least for the board it is the standard treatment for manic episodes for the PMHMP board certification because it has suicidal reduced suicidal ideations for those with manic symptoms it causes a neuroprotective treatment of a choice for bipolar disorder i really want you to memorize and know these five facts about lithium okay they will come up over and over again. Now, when prescribing lithium, there are certain labs that you need to follow. That's your thyroid panel, TSH. Why? Well, basically, high lithium levels, it mimic the manic episode, right? And hyperthyroidism, it's similar to that, to the to the manic like episode, hyperthyroidism. Your creatinine, which is 0 0.6 to 1.2, as you notice, the creatinine level is the same level as the lithium, the number wise. Okay, so there's one thing less to memorize: creatinine 0 0.6 to 1.2, lithium level, the same thing. Okay. You need to monitor your creatinine because lithium is taken out the body by the kidney. And creatinine and BUN has to do a lot with the cream, uh, uh, kidney function, right? So it reflects the kidney function and the lithium levels. Blood urea nutrogen or BUN, that's 10 to 20. And before you prescribe lithium or in fact before you prescribe any antipsychotics any mood stabilizer for females age of 12 to 50 you need to get a uh, pregnancy test or known as hcg and for those over 50 years old you need to get an ekg So lithium will cause some side effects, and that's important to distinguish between lithium side effects somewhat expected that we can manage to lithium toxicity. That becomes more complex management. So what are the lithium side effects? It can cause hypo, not hyper. It can cause hypo thyroidism can cause weight gain central nervous system defects fine hand tremors right they are invisible they are fine hand tremors that is side effect if they become coarse it is no longer a side effect but it is now a toxicity level so if it's coarse is it a toxicity not fine so fine hand tremors right you can see 
So that means a side effect of lithium. Fatigue, mental confusion, a headache, horse and tremors, which is a sign of toxicity, right? Not exactly a lithium side effect. Nystagma of the eyes, a maculopopular rash or itching, a acne. It's a side effect of lithium maculopopular rash, okay? GI symptoms like diarrhea, vomiting. Anytime you see symptoms that says severe, so you know you no longer a side effect of the medication, but a toxicity level. Okay, cardiac issues often uh, produce a T inversion, T inversion, and dysrhythmia, and hematologic issues like leukocytosis. Okay, definitely know the side effects of lithium. Now, when it becomes toxicity, uh, it's kind of like becomes severe, right? It does become severe. So you have severe nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, confusion, drowsiness, blurry vision, or slurred speech, muscle weakness, ataxia, and coarse hand tremors. Okay? So patient may develop a difficult walking, right, ataxia, they may lose their balance because they are in severe or toxicity level of lithium, okay? So actions in case of a toxicity, what are you going to do? In case of any toxicity, any drug, the first thing to do is to stop the drug. Stop the lithium. Next, check the lab values. Okay? That's your action. That's your priority. Now, how lithium interacts with the other medication? It's so very important. Earlier, we had mentioned that lithium interaction with anything that prevents the excretion uh, of a salt, right? It, it will... Anything that prevents excretion, right? So, but therefore, it will retain lithium if excreting plus excreting sodium. So, it do an exchange between lithium and salt. So, the lithium will go high, the salt will go down, be hyponatremia, patients on lithium, right? While keeping elevated lithium levels if they take with anything that's high uh, or hypertensive, like thiosine, diuretics, right? NSAIDs, ACE inhibitors, uh, angiotensin 2 uh, blockers. So know that, that ACE inhibitor and angiotensin 2 blockers, they are for uh, heart conditions, especially uh, cardiac conditions that has to do with volume control, okay? Volume control. So questions that ask about ACE inhibitor, Arby's, they will increase lithium level, and SAIDs will increase lithium level. So you have to manage this accordingly, okay? Just again, a quick review. We just went over this. Glutamate, GABA, calm, adrenaline is concentration. Acetylcholine is your learning memory. Dopamine is for pleasure, rewards. Glutamate is for your memory. Serotonin is your mood. And then endorphins that we described earlier. Just a review of neurotransmitters. Check your learning. You have a 46 years old patient with bipolar disorder arrives at the routine follow-up appointment, worried about severe vomit, diarrhea, muscle weakness, blurry vision, and ataxia. The, cur the patient currently takes 1,000 milligrams of lithium per day. What action should the nurse practitioner's top priority be? A. Keep the patient on the current regimen since they are stable and continue monitoring them. Request an electrocardiogram. 
instruct the patient to discontinue lithium usage and arrange for a lithium level? Or D, measure the patient's vital signs? Well, if you pick C, instruct the patient to discontinue lithium usage and arrange for lithium level test is the right answer, okay? Patient safety first. By discontinuing the lithium, even if you don't have the labs, it's totally okay because you have the symptoms of toxicity present. Now, another thing that has to do with lithium that uh, often comes up on tests is uh, what kind of a lithium birth defect it can cause, right? It can cause a heart defect on a baby, abstain heart condition. So be on a watch out. We'll cover more on that on the upcoming slides. Let's finish this module and move on to module 11. See you there.